Afternoon guys, hope everyone's doing well. So, a bit of an update on the Pipes and Tobaccos magazine collection. Um, as you can see, I've got a fair few now. I've been meaning to film this video for ages. <laughs> and kind of, I keep the magazines tucked away so kind of, it's not kind of easy to access. Like I kind of pull them out when I can. But if you can see, I've got quite a selection here. On the right hand side, we have the co complete sets. So we have volume one to four, which as you can see are fully complete. And then on this side, if I try and try to fit it all, all, all in in this camera angle, we have bit, bits of kind of odd ends. If you can see, we've got quite a number, we've got three, one, two, three, and four. So one, two, and three. Of volume 23 so we've, i've almost got all volume 23 and then i've got two of volume five one of 11 one of 14 one of 15 one of 16 and one of 21 and one of tw and i've got one of 24. so it's kind of although i believe spring 2019 was the last volume which is that is there that was volume one of 24. sorry Volume 24, number one, spring 19. I believe that is the last issue of Pipes and Tobacco. But as you can see, you've come here. I do have the premier issue, which is winter 96. And then, like I said, carrying on from that, I've got the entire set there, of one to four. So of course, still a long way to go. Um, this is kind of an update to my collection of what I have. Um, it looks like I kind of update this every six months or so. Um, I'm always on, on the hunt for them. Um, I did manage to, I think originally I bought a part of a collection where it had quite a few. And then um, a good member of, of the YTBC was, was kind of the, part exchange with their trade for the other selection that you see here um, a while back and then from there I believe I've picked up another three or four issues since then um, but that is it, it's, it's getting slower and slower thankfully I've got the first four volumes which is always ideal because if anything the first four volumes are the hardest to find. So, for example, finding number four of volume 23 shouldn't be too hard because it's from 2018. It's kind of not impossible compared to, I'm sure, to find the rest of, for example, volume one. If you didn't have it, it would be quite challenging. Or some people, I imagine, would charge quite a bit of cash for the, for for the premiere issue or just volume one itself. So yeah, that's my update of the collection. What what, what I have, you can kind of see everything I've got here. You can kind of see the odds ends that I've got here, and kind of the volumes I don't have. But for example, I don't believe I'm I am missing quite a few volumes. I've got, I'm missing all of volume 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and then I've got a bit of 11 I don't have volume 12 and then as you can see I've got a couple volume 14, 15 and 16 and then again volume 17, 18 and 19 aren't there so there is quite a lot <laughs> still to go I would say I've probably got about half of them if that so far so there's still a lot more to collect and acquire and I have said before my intentions is to one day have them all and have them all framed I'd probably in the workshop dedicate a, a, an entire wall the fault with and have the wall just be in frames and kind of I frame the magazines hopefully get some nice ch ch cheap frames as of course there's quite a few here but that's the intention kind of frame the whole entire wall with frames every magazine on the wall and because it's in frames it, it's
it's really easy to just take that one frame off the wall, pop it in the back and take out the magazine. So kind of, that's my thought behind it, is, is a way to display them, it would look really cool, but because they're in just normal frames, it's very easy if you want to read that particular issue to just take it out. So that's what my end goal is with this. Hopefully, maybe, I suppose, to depend on how long it takes me to find them. But I would like to try and get them all by maybe the end of next year. So we're still at the start of 2023, maybe end of 2024, 2025, start of 2025. I would maybe have my hands on the rest of the sets, but I suppose it's all potluck. It depends who's willing to sell what or what is there on the market available. Because at the end of the day, I'm not bothered about buying any more of the ones I currently have. I only want the, the issues that are in between. But yeah, that's kind of an update on my collection of Pipes and Tobacco magazines. Hope you kind of got a bit of a grasp on aspect of what I have. That be said, take care. Cheers.